Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining this webinar. Tonight, we are glad to have Dr. Patrina Wong presenting. She is the founder and the medical director of Linka Aesthetic Clinic, located in Singapore. If you have any questions you would like to ask her, please write it down on the Q&A box, and she will be answering them at the end of the webinar. Thank you, and I see you at the end. Good evening, everyone. I hope all of you are keeping well. Thank you for your time and participation in this Quantificare webinar. 2020 has been a disruptive year caused by COVID-19 pandemic. Thankfully, there is always a silver lining. The disruption allowed us to take a pause to reflect on our life and our work. I trust that many of us have attended multiple webinars like this one, and we realize we can still better ourselves in spite of the circumstances. That's our human resilience. Today, we will take a dive into how we can communicate better with our patients with the use of innovative 2D and 3D photography techniques. Our topic for today is how to enhance patient satisfaction in a medical aesthetic consultation. There are at least 300,000 studies done to measure patient satisfaction or as influencing factors. This goes to show doctors are aware consultations are important and work hard to improve the way we communicate with our patients. One important aspect found in majority of these studies for a successful and happy doctor-patient consultation is communication. Tony Robbins says that to effectively communicate we must realize that we are all different in the way we perceive the world and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. So true, it is no secret that a key to a good medical consultation is effective communication. Communication is key because we're able to build a bridge between physician and patient in establishing a common understanding to reach a common goal. In medical aesthetic consultation, one essential communication tool is using clinical photography. People use photos to express their likes and dislikes, their desires and expectations. Exposure to social media such as Facebook, Instagram, print, magazine, have enabled visual communication. We also send photographs to one another in phone messages. Stree uses two-dimensional photos to showcase studies before and after pictures, show the time frames and possible outcomes for a certain treatment. Pharmaceutical companies and medical research use 2D photographs to illustrate severity scales. More importantly, beauty is a spectrum. We need to know for the specific patient what our common goals are and what the landing point on this range of spectrum is. Clinical photography aids us in this exploration. It is said, a picture speaks a thousand words, but it's not just any picture. It's the picture of the one who is seeking treatment in front of us. So, what are the considerations for us regarding clinical photography in a medical aesthetic consultation. For the non-photographer gene in me, I need something really simple to aim and shoot. I need it to be easy to set up and be able to take photographs in any room. Space is a constraint in my practice. So bulky lights and cameras with stands or a dedicated room to take the photographs if is a definite no-go for me. I also need the camera to be user-friendly and user-independent. As much as I would like to take most of the photos myself, there are times where I would still need the help of my staff or another doctor. Reproducibility of the photos are important to enforce the trust patients have in us, that we are not playing with lighting or exposure. Comparability is another consideration. The angle and profile in which the photos are taken affect our ability to compare before and after photographs. When these photographs are comparable, it helps us to document the real progress the patient has over a course of time. 
For reproducibility and comparability, photographs should look similar if they are taken by the same person at different times. I had this done in my clinic. I asked photographer A to capture pictures 40 minutes apart. There are set five sets of photographs taken by photographer A. Each set shows a first take and a 40 minutes later photo. From the outset, the photo seems to be reproducible and comparable. We will do a zoom in on the photographs later on in the part of the sharing. The question remains whether this is user-friendly and user-dependent for a good photograph. This does affect a lot of us as we have staff of different heights, different abilities, different eye for details and differences. I got two photographers, B and C, to take photographs at different times within the same day and compare them. Again, it looks like the photos are comparable and reproducible as the angles and lighting are similar. I used the Quantificare Mini Live Vis to take these photos. The Quantificare system is easy to set up and use. It actually does not need any spatial or lighting setup. It can fit into the palm of your hand. It is compact, portable and wireless, so you can bring it from room to room freely. The lighting of the room can be variable and need not be consistent. The camera is equipped with dual beam pointers and double flash. You just have to aim and shoot. It is user-friendly, so all my staff can handle the camera. It takes about 3 seconds to take 4 shots of photos. The camera software is then able to standardize the lighting exposed on the subject, as well as the profiles and angles in which the photos are taken. In this way, it is able to give reproducible and comparable photos. Harnessing 2D and 3D technologies have made a difference in my medical aesthetic consultations. I'm now able to capture the full skin story, provide interactive visuals to discuss the needs and wants of the patient, and I'm also able to provide progress tracking clearly and fairly. This enables our doctor-patient communication to be a two-way flow and increases patients' confidence in our accurate and consistent evaluation of their skin conditions. To capture the full skin story, I will start with a personalized assessment and analysis of the image capture by looking at the 2D aspect of the skin. Using the system, I can qualify and quantify the skin in the aspects of wrinkles, evenness, pores, oiliness, brown and red areas. Each of these areas are reported with a score which can be used to track the progress of the patient in subsequent sessions. A bonus is to generate this report for the patient. A typical skin report looks like this. You have the front view of the patient and both of the sides left and right. You also have the skincare test and score definitions given so that the patients can read and understand what the scores are about. Still on the topic to capture the full skin story, we also look at the multi-sites profile of the patient in 3D. This enables the patient to see themselves face on and appreciate the features, areas of concern they may have. This acts as a mirror for both the patient and I to look into at the same time. It aligns the patient's concerns with what we think is his concern. To further elevate our consultation, we can provide a unique visual experience for the patient. This enables the patient to visualize the red areas, the brown areas, line measurements with anatomical landmarks and golden ratio, volume assessments and lots more. Reproducible and comparable photos are helpful in tracking progress. Patients and I can visualize clearly and fairly what the outcome of the treatments are. 
This helps to reinforce patients' confidence in the treatment plans. It also helps us to plan for future treatments going forward, perhaps keeping some and changing other procedures. A tailored and customized program is what the patients deserve. I will share with you how I apply the Quantificare system in my consultations. I chose situations where it had been tricky or difficult to make a clinical assessment in a normal setting. So there will not be any clinical photographs of overt changes where a pigment spot disappears completely. I feel that the overt improvement that can be captured by a compact camera or a DSLR needs no further help in communicating to patients that indeed an improvement is seen. Many times, it is those situations where there may be some degree of subtlety and you may wonder if you need to change the course of your treatment plans. That is difficult. It also helps to explain to patients and to encourage them to continue on with treatments or to explain to them why you need to change certain treatment plans. Hope you will enjoy these applications. Our first case is a lady who comes in annually for her skin checkup. She is using some skin care and is not on any procedures done to her skin. So in 2019, July, she came in for an assessment and we compare that assessment with this year, 2020, in October. On the outset of the pictures, you will see that there is not a great degree of deterioration of the skin condition. As we continue on the consultation, we apply the different um, aids that Quantificare system allows. In the volume assessment, we're able to see clearly the deflation of her right cheek area as well as her left jaw area. This is accentuated when we change the lighting on the photos and we're able to see the three-dimensional profile even clearer. To further enhance the difference, we apply the volume assessment on these photographs as well. As you can see, the darkening of blue over her right cheek area and her left jaw area is quite significant. With these photographs and assessment, the patient can clearly understand what has happened over a year's period. And after this assessment, she decides to do some treatments to improve the skin condition before it gets worse the next year. In our next case, it is a lady with bilateral melasma and solar lentigos. She wanted to improve the area quickly and efficiently. We did a couple of treatments over a three-month period, and this is the results we see. While she could appreciate that there is certain improvement in certain lighting at home, she could not visibly see the improvement in all the photographs that she take. So we use the Quantificare to track her progress. On a normal photograph, we are able to see there is some degree of lightening over the cheek areas. When we apply the brown area assessment, we're able to see the pigments reducing. In a zoom in, we're able to see on the right side where there is a semi-lunar pigmented area, it actually gets broken down into small little parts. On the lower part of her right cheek, you can see overall the skin tone has improved and many parts of the pigment has actually improved. This gives patients much more confidence to continue on with the treatment. Similarly, on the left side. Case 3 is a patient with acne scars and she desires to improve certain deep acne scarring that has happened due to her acne in her teens. 
Acne scars are particularly difficult to capture. The quantificare system helped me to be able to isolate the different specific scars and track those specific scars for the patient. Patient is happy with the result as well as the ability for us to track them. Another case with acne scarring, especially over the temple area. The temple scarring has been very disturbing for the patient and she applied uh, um, a few sessions of uh, laser treatment and this is the result that she get on her left temple. She's extremely happy with the treatment and with these sets of results over a very short period of time, she's encouraged to continue treatment to improve the results further. Case 5 is a lady with um, uneven skin tone and wanted to improve that glow in her skin. We applied some treatments once in every 6 weeks and over a year period, she's able to clinically feel that her skin glow has improved. But she also wanted to see some photo documentation that indeed it is a real perception and not something that is just imagined. So the quantificare system helped her to qualify that. Another case of pigmentation. Patients has about four months of um, treatment for solar lentigo as well as general skin tone improvement. While the patient can clinically appreciate that glow that she's having, she was honest with herself that she cannot see the lentigo reducing. We applied the quantific care assessment on her and we're able to see certain areas whereby the skin tone has significantly improved. And we agree with her that the lentigos that were her main source of concern is still not broken down yet. With this photo documentation, she is pleased that her uneven skin tone is gradually improving even though her solar lentigo will still have some time to go. This also helps me to change the different lasers that she needs to target the particular lentigo which is not really improving. Again, on the right side, there is improve skin tone generally. Case 7 is a lady who presents with bilateral solar lentigo and melasma. After 4 months of treatment, she could see that the improvement of her pigments are quite drastic. She took some pictures at home and she could see the reduction of the pigments. However, in front of the mirror, she could see the outline of her pigments and is wondering whether there can be any changes in the treatments that she's doing to improve the outcome further. We applied the quantificare system on her and we are able to see that a lot of the pigments have been broken up. In a photo and light profile, we are able to see the pigments reduced significantly. But it is true that for one of the bigger lentigo on her left cheek, the outline of the lentigo is still, uh, is still hanging around. So that helped us to change a little bit of our treatment plans by increasing certain degree of power over certain areas of her skin or over certain pigments to be targeted. Same patient on the right side.
She's rather encouraged by the treatments that we have been doing and she wanted to continue treatment and understand why we have to apply higher energy on certain spots. We are also able to use the fusion mode to go over the pigments to show the patient that particular spot before and after treatment. This aids in the visualization of the outcome. Case 8 is a lady who presented with redness and we all know that it is very difficult to document redness on a normal photograph. So on the top photograph, you will not be able to see any degree of redness that is improving or deteriorating. But once we apply the quantificare, we're able to clearly see that bilaterally her cheeks have improved in terms of the redness score. This is her right side. And again, we can see the intensity of the redness over the cheeks, even the temple area, as well as a little bit over the forehead is improved. On her left side of the cheek, while the temple area as well as the higher cheek area has improved, there is a little bit more vascularization on the middle of her, height, of her mid cheek, which we will target a little bit more in the course of the treatment going forward. Case 9 is another patient who presents with redness and her improvement is drastic over the cheek area. Her right side, you can see the cheek area that has a reduce in redness. The left side. Case 10 is a lady with a double chin reduction done. Quantificare applied is able to highlight the area that has reduced in volume. We can also use the lines measurements to show the reduction in the volume just by the, seeing the contours of, um, of the double chin area. Another way to see the difference is by using the slider that is in the quantificare system. As you can see, when you superimpose the before and after pictures on it, you are able to see the difference in the reduction. Case 11 is a gentleman with fillers that has been applied. It is rather difficult to see the full volume of um, the fillers that is being applied. So when we apply the um, volume assessment, you can see that the area has on the cheeks area has stained yellow. And with that, it is uh, clear that that area has increased in volume. The sides area, as well as the right, the left side. Masita reduction in case twelve. You we can use the slider to actually see the difference. Case 13 is a case of um, collagen boosting face treading. These treads are used for collagen boosting. They are not used for lifting. So there is a reduction, a deflation of a lower face area, which she's concerned about. We applied some face treads to boost up the collagen. And in a normal photograph, we, we see a little bit of that fullness but it would be better if we can quantify it or qualify it a little bit better. We applied the um, volume assessment mode on the pictures 
and you can see with the yellow staining areas, these are the areas that have increased in volume due to the collagen stimulation. Same patient using the photo and light mode. And again, we apply the volume assessment on her. And you can see similar areas that has increased in volume. This brings us to the end of the webinar. I hope you enjoyed the whole webinar. Thank you very much for your time to participate in this. And I'd like to thank Quantificare for a great opportunity to share with you my experience. Now we shall go into the question and answer session and I'll be happy to take your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much for this presentation. Um, I think the first thing is very nice from you to use patients that are not the Test one, the, the perfect patient, but to show us how the system can be used in front of um, patients that are not so, so where the outcome is not so so easy. So we re we receive quite a, a few questions that I will ask, and one that was in the in the Q and A. So the first one I have is um, how the quantificator software is able to assess the volume, and how precise it is. So let me know if you want me to 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 help you uh, regarding the, this question. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I can I can try this. Uh, actually, each point for the before and after picture, uh, each point uh, of this before and after picture are registered. The software is able to measure the distance variation at each of these points. And if we have multiple points, we are actually able to calculate a volume variation, whether it is positive or whether it's negative. And the accuracy is about 0.1 cc, which has been demonstrated to be higher than our normal human facial expression reproducibility between two pictures. So the Live This Mini, which is the camera for the face, is mostly used by pharmaceutical companies for their multi-centered clinical trials, where volume assessment um, is the primary endpoint. Generally, in my clinical practice, the detection of volume is never really the main objective. The deep injection can actually take weeks to stimulate collagen, and um, it will take time to be detected, as in the case of uh, the face treading case. Mm -hmm. It took about a three months period. The Quantificate mm -hmm. camera is an excellent tool to see when the volume is not there anymore, and it is an and that a new injection is uh, about time to be planned and proposed. Um, the volume assessment can never replace our expertise and the trust the patient has in us in assessing their condition can never be relied fully on the device, but it is able to help us to give a proposal or suggestion that the volume actually has already been reduced. Yeah, hopefully I answer your question. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly, That's, and, and the details are all true. Um, we do have another one, um, one doctor asking uh, maybe more details on how you implement the, the, the camera in your, in your clinic workflow. Uh, you did the presentation in the beginning, but can you give, uh, yeah, he's asking more details about how it can fit the workflow of your clinic. Sure. Uh, usually when the patient comes in, whether it is a first consultation or subsequent consultation, we will get the patient uh, to go into um, a small space. It's, it's actually a small space, like a waiting area, but it's a bit covered um, to take the pictures. You only take about uh, three seconds to take four shots of the pictures. And while my, my staff um, get the pictures all stitched up, uh, mm -hmm. I will be seeing the patients and addressing what the concerns are. By the time about four to five minutes into the consultation, the pictures will have been stitched up and actually uh, sent to me and, uh, and I can assess it. And from that time, I can actually use the pictures to discuss with the patient, if this is the first time, to discuss with them what are their concerns, what are their needs and what can be done. If it is a subsequent consultation, like the second or further on, then we can discuss about what has improved or what we need to do further. 
and to adjust the treatments or to plan for further treatments. So essentially, the photo documentation is very useful for them to understand and see their own face and at the same time, uh, be able to understand what else is being is needed to be done. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is, you, you show some example of lentigo treatment, yes. but uh, the question is, uh, what are the red map and the broad map based on? How is it done? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, they're actually based on the RGB color mode. Um, thanks to the quantificate algorithm and the camera lenses, we are actually able to display the pigmentation and redness. Most skin assessment devices are actually based on this technology, so this is not absolutely new. However, quantificare is um, able to master it um, and it has been able to provide an accurate representation. So far, the cases that I've used the um, quantificare for is able to show up the pigmentation very clearly as well as uh, um, the redness area, especially difficult when you do a normal photo photography. So with this actually it helps uh, the patients a lot to visualize how their improvement and how the outcome is so far. All right, thank you. Uh, maybe two, two more questions. So another one, um, alors, the question I receive is uh, why we do not see the face in the entirety and also the neck in your in your presentation. Ah, okay. Actually, the quantificare system takes the whole face, the whole face and part of the neck, um, and the sides as well. For the purpose of the uh, presentation, if I show the whole face, most of the most of the pathology is going to be a bit small on the screen. So the the just to for the purpose of the present presentation, I actually enlarge the area. So by the time when you enlarge it, it get cut off, you know, and I just zoom into the area that we need. And um, that's to facilitate showing you what we're trying to refer to. If not the pictures, because there's so many pictures in one frame of the slide, it's going to be really, really small and it gets a little bit meaningless. Uh, but in reality, you have the full head and the neck of the patient and the side view as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, maybe one last question uh, to finish. Uh, how safe is the system regarding the data protection and the patient privacy matters? Ah, okay. Uh, as far as I know, Remy can confirm this. Uh, Quantificare does not have access to the user's uh, patient's mm, data and pictures. The data is stored in my own computer on the user side locally. And the files that are saved in a format that only um, a certain app called the LF app can read. Uh, it is also recommended to set up an assess password for each user in the clinic so that you can assess, so that you can secure the access uh, to the pictures in the LiveVis app. Um, so for most of my staff, we each have a, have an assess a password and it is not shared, so we know who access it, etc. Uh, but at the same time, because of the access password, even if somebody happens to, you know, see your screen or want to click on the live vis app itself, they actually can't access your photos. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and in fact, the software works without internet, so we cannot even access uh, what we want to. Um, I think that we'll. Uh... Uh, there is uh, two more questions ah, yeah. on the, uh, yeah. How difficult uh, is it to derive the volume calculation? Does it take a lot of time like other 3D photographic system? Oh, actually it's really simple. All you have to do is to apply the volume assessment. If you remember my first uh, lady, the first case where the lady came in annually to, for her skin to be checked, once you apply the volume assessment, it actually comes, it actually lights up certain areas that is a difference. So whether it is an increase in volume or reduction in volume, it will actually shade it for you and it give you a skill. Um, if you have a specific area that you need to highlight, for example, the double chin case that we saw, you only have to put on a few points so that the whole point, the few points can join up into an area that is uh, you're concerned about and that you want to take care of. And that in itself will self-measure the volume. 
uh, it takes less than 30 seconds to get that done. So it's really yeah. very fast. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, is it possible to visualize cellulite? I think that's a transition for maybe the next uh, webinar. <laughs> yeah, I, I think cellulite at the moment is a little bit more difficult. However, um, there is new versions and updates of uh, the quantificate and I think it's in progress. So they are able to measure actually the wrinkle depth as well as a certain wound uh, uh, um, wound uh, that as as well as a uh, wound space area yeah so area mm -hmm. yeah for um, for the future applications so I suppose uh, we got to keep uh, keep ourselves uh, focused on what's new for the year to come absolutely the, Dr Wong is in fact uh, using the system we have for the for the body mm -hmm. and uh, and we will probably show you in the in the next webinar uh, probably next year how you can uh, visualize the the cellulite uh, with this system. All right, I think that's I think that's all. Uh, then question about representative in Brazil. Uh, all right, but well, thank you very much, Dr. Wong. Uh, very interesting presentation. Thank you for sharing your thought on the on the system. Uh, so just to to remind everyone, so Dr. Wong is the founder and medical director of uh, Link Clinic in Singapore. If you have any question you would like to ask her, you can contact us uh, through the through the website or you can contact her directly. All right. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you Ronnie. very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Bye bye.